um, some mixed emotions uh, about the game because I thought they were thought we didn't necessarily start as well as we could have, but I thought that we grew into the game and I think created some good chances um, to get back into the game and, and we're unlucky with some of our shots and hitting the post and um, different things like that. And then um, really feel bad for the way that we can see the last goal with, with somebody slipping and um, just disheartening. And so just mixed emotions for the good and the, the positive that we created today. Yeah, Rumbi, you kind of touched on um, just the the mixed emotions. Um, I'm just curious for maybe your thoughts on the overall attacking performance. I know you didn't get a goal, but it, it felt like the um, some of the passages of play were improved and, and there was maybe a little bit more chance creation. Um, just kind of what, what what's your assessment of you guys in the final third? Yeah, for sure. And I think that is um, some of the positive stuff, I think, with um, the amount of possession, the purposeful possession that we had, I thought uh, is definitely a positive as we're trying to evolve and, and evolve as a club in what we're trying to do. And so I thought those things were, were, were really good. Um, so I think it was, it was we showed that we have the ability to do that. And just now, again, we just need to execute a little bit, but that it, was, it was definitely a positive science. Yeah, Roomba, I guess what do you feel led to, you know, it seemed like the game opened up a little bit more in the second half for you guys, and you guys had you know, some of your best opportunities of the game after after a break. I guess what do you feel led to that? Um, I just think a, a shift in mentality, and also I, I thought as the game grew, we, we got more comfortable. The team that puts pressure in the first you know, 15 minutes and, um, and make it uncomfortable, and so I think as guys got more comfortable with the game and um, started to – understand the, the flow of the game. I just thought we were better at picking our moments going forward. And stuff. Hey, Arun, but with this being your uh, last game in the interim uh, capacity, uh, has the club communicated what your role will be going forward? And same thing with the staff you've been working with uh, thus far. Yeah, we'll just continue to help the team and the players and I'll still do the same thing and continue to help the, the club and the players um, develop and get better and be positive and um, valuable assets for the club. Hey, Rumbo, when you look at the first two goals, obviously there's like a little bit of bad luck that both of them are, are slightly offside. How do you kind of evaluate close but no cigar versus, okay, both of those counted and and we are responsible for each of those counting and, and that's kind of on our record here? Yeah, I think that we have to make sure that we don't put ourselves in situations where it's close and um, that it, it's clear and obvious that it, it's, it's on side or off side. Yeah, Rumba, just um, with this being your last game as the interim manager, I, I think it was the, the initial press conference you said either you were jumping in off the deep end or thrown into the fire or something like that. I, I'm just kind of curious for your, um, your overall assessment of this, I think, 13 game stretch. Um, and yeah, maybe just if what what you've learned from it, and just kind of how you how you feel it went. Um, yeah, I, I think if you look at it in totality, thirteen games we had six games we got points from, uh, which is is a, a decent. We always wanted to do better. Um, it is again an educational experience on uh, how I would adapt and how I would be here, how players would adapt, and so I think that for the most part we look at the whole um, whole experience um, in totality, I think that there's some positive things to take from it. I think that you know, some of the attacking um, sequences and things that are starting to come to light and guys starting to feel comfortable on the ball, I think it's a great step into our evolution, especially as you know we have guys like Annabelle and um, other players starting to come back. And so I think that it's, um, it's a good step and a good step in the process to where we're going in the club and I'm happy that I was able to help guide that for, for a little bit. And so um, I'll look at those experiences and, and learn from them and continue to, to, to grow as a person as well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I think uh, it's unfortunate, you know, we wanted to come into this game and make a statement going into the break, but, um, you know, we, we have some, some days off to regroup. Uh, DJ comes in, and we're very excited for that. And you know, we have all our eyes on moving forward and everything. Ready for BJ to start. Um, 
yeah, Taylor, um, I guess, you know, last season going into League's Cup, you were coming off a stretch of five losses in six games. This year, coming on a six-game losing streak. I'm wondering if if you see any potential in this team for, you know, a similar turnaround, you know, with League's Cup coming up this year, and I guess maybe for what reasons, if you do. Of course, yeah. I mean, like, I back my guys in any game, you know. I think and you saw what we did last year in League's Cup, so it's possible to do that again. Um you know, we're, we're excited for a new coach. We're excited for a playing style that's going to be exciting. And, um, you know, League Stuff gives us a great a great spark, a great opportunity for us to go out and play in this knockout format that, uh, you know, comes in a weird time of the season. But, uh, you know, just like last year, we had anything possible. So, you know, we're looking to have a great run. Yeah, Taylor, hello. But also, uh, <laughs> you Listen, look you- at... You look at um, kind of how this game came about and you say um, maybe we don't have some of the people that um, are, are stalwarts in the lineup. How do you kind of, I guess, value the, the you know, the lack of, of guys like Walker, for example, versus, hey, it's our job to go out and get at least one point, but probably three points in each match. For sure, you know, Walker's presence is, is amazing, and that's why he's with the Olympic team right now. Um, you know, guys like Sammy as well, they, they have the ability to turn a game around like like that. And, but you also have guys who, Josh Bauer, who stepped up, and I, I told him when I came into the locker room, and I was disappointed at this loss, but, you know, he let us as best he could, extremely well, you know, before the game, sending clips, this is where we need to be able to find you on the switch. And, you know, he stepped into that role and, and rose to the occasion, and, you know, we didn't get the result we wanted, but it's a building block. Um, so, you know, for the guys who went out there and gave everything that we had, and the fans and us included are disappointed. But, you know, we have to leave this behind us. You know, we can't carry this into League's Cup. We can't let this be in our backpacks and laying us down. You know, it's, it's the start of this new school year. You know, we have a new teacher. And, um, you know, we put our full trust in him. Yeah, Taylor, um, just kind of looking back at the 13 games since obviously Gary was fired and Rumba took charge. Um, maybe what are some, I guess, some lessons that you learned from those 13 games and, and anything that you feel um, you guys have kind of done differently in those 13 games that you're hoping to take forward into this kind of next stretch with, with BJ in charge? Yeah. Um, I mean, if you want me to be completely honest, losing sucks. You know, it's the worst feeling in the world, I think, to lose the amount of games that we have, you know, we have to look at ourselves, internalize that, see where we went wrong, and learn from it. That's the only thing that we can do. You know, if we were to harp, like I just said, harp on the losses and focus on the losses and focus on everything that we did wrong, you know, I think we're going to stay in a rut. But, you know, with BJ coming in, I'm going to keep saying it. You know, it's going to be new and exciting. And, um, you know, I, I really do believe it's like the start of a new school year. So the only thing that I think all the boys and me included are, we're focused on BJ. We're focused on the way that he's going to be leading us, and we're moving forward. Yeah, Taylor, you spoke about BJ coming in, and I'm just curious: Have you been able to talk to him yet? Have you, has he introduced himself to the player? Also, if you have talked to him, do you know what that looks like? What 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 his ideas are, sort of, and, and how can you start implementing them on the pitch? You know, so I I was fortunate enough to know BJ um, even before Philly Union, where I played here for a year. Um, he was one of the assistant coaches and recruited me to Villanova. And um, you know, he's a top class guy. You know, very exciting in terms of what his playing style is going to be. He has not texted me or anything like that, but I know he's reached out to all the boys and me included. Just checked in, saw how everyone was doing, and you know, I think he's. I think everyone's excited for him to come in and, and start on Wednesday. Yeah, you just you just kind of spoke to it to Valera's question there, but you know you do have a new coach coming in. What is kind of your mindset in terms of? I don't know if it's like a hard break between interim coach versus coach going forward. I don't like what is kind of the way you guys view that in terms of, I guess what the coaching tenure means for what it can be not only for the rest of the season but going forward. I think it's a hard break from just the results that we've gotten, you know. So I think that's the best way to look at it. You know, we have we have to just leave it behind. You know, I know it's tough. It's it's. I don't know if this is the the pastor in me that I want to be, but it's like you have to leave that relationship behind and start a new one. 
You know, you have to really, you have to leave everything that's going on and, and focus on improving and getting better. And that's the only thing that you can do. You know, if you keep looking back, you're not going to focus on what's in front of you. You know, so and there's a lot of good things that are in front of us. You know, we have a, a tournament where who knows how far we can go, and we have plenty of games left. So, um, you know, I back these guys to to do anything and, and do something special.